I did not activate that the whole time. I'm so sorry, Nick. <laughs> oh my god, sorry, Nick. I was talking to you the whole time. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, but you're not going to hear anything from me. And actually, you guys are not on the audio as well because I deactivate my audio from my. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, this is what happened when I don't check my thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I literally. I Sorry, have, Nick. I, you know how you're fine? And your voice fucking boomed in my yeah, ear. Yeah, same here. Y'all, y'all probably heard it come out of mine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Man was fucking ear rapey as shit. <laughs> um, okay. You want me to be more Europey? I can add that. <laughs> I can add that. Um, I went ahead and went into Discord. I went ahead and gave them some feedback. And surprisingly, they actually were somewhat nice. And I get the feeling that they're very young. Yeah. You know, hence the fact Just that they... Just yeah. all of the issues, all of the grammatical structure problems and everything... It... Yeah. It's so why I don't like to make fun of, like, newer writers, because, like, if I compare my shit that I do now to the shit I did when I first started... Right. It'd be just as bad, if not worse. Well, like, and, I wrote and it's... some downright shit when I was younger. <laughs> Same. Kind like, of. I would not- I would not use it to start a fire because the smell would just be horrid. Right, right, right. I mean- it, it, It's- it's just- it, everything is so... If I- if I had- if I had made anything of that- of that tier of quality, I would not have released it. So- Yeah, but the I, thing is, you don't know if what you have is bad or not when you're at that stage. You don't know what makes mm -hmm. a good story. You yeah. just sort of write what you want to write and hope people like it. Yeah, and that's fair. That is fair. Yeah, and I'm not. And and to be fair, I went ahead and gave them a. I went ahead and actually, you know, listed my my criticism with, with the mm -hmm. mod uh, as nicely as, as I could put it. Sure. You know, I actually, literally, what I said was, uh, um, the dialogue in the mod feels very unnatural. What I mean by this mm -hmm. is the way it's written feels like it was written very hastily. Like you only have to find simple ways to write each, write each character. There's a also, lot of shorthand in in the dialogue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, please please consider finding a proofreader because there are a ton of punctuation, grammatical, and capitalization errors that made it hard to become invested in, in to become invested in the story you're trying to tell. Also, it feels very rushed. The entire pacing of the mob. We need time to be eased into this new story. Show some interactions between the club members. Have some scenes that will tell the player this. This is how the tone of the mod is going to be. I hope you're ready right. for what's next, you know? Right. And I kind of expected to see a new take on MC. I'm not saying you ha have to make him stand out from everyone else, but nice to see an MC who has different mannerisms from the blank slate MC people are used to. I also right. feel like the sprites are used for the new characters. I feel like they're from another VN. I really hope you got permission they look, to use them. They look really familiar. They really do. I can't place any of them, but... Yeah. And I'm like, I really hope you got permission to use them. The DDMC are very strict with what can and cannot be used. Overall, mm -hmm. I see what kind of story you're trying to tell, and I applaud you guys. But this does need some heavy reworks in the writing, the pacing, and the MC. Thanks for reading. Just know this is how I felt when I played the mod, and I truly want to see a unique story. With this well said, bro. Well said. Very yeah. well done, Gord. So. Mhm. Mm yeah. <laughs> so like, what? So one thing that came to mind, though, Gord, so this story, I don't mean to be that guy again, but it sounds as bad or worse than Natsuki's extended story. <laughs> you know what? It might as well be, because at least that mod, you know, at least that mod, while the pacing was super fucking fast. It was yeah. so bad. It was, really it was bad, ham handed least, as fuck. But at least that mod actually like, knew the characters. You know? JP, I think all I, I well I I know my attention span is pretty much shot. So I, I, I hope we're not like literally holding you hostage here. Mm, I don't know. I don't think this thing's working to be honest. Okay. I, I just I just wanted to make sure because like I yeah. Tangential mm -hmm. Ilias tangential. 
Here, you know what? what? What can I do? Can I edit the channel? Oh, I can edit. I can edit the channel in here. Yes, you're you're a mod, so you you can do all the things. That's okay. It may not be nighttime for Ryan, but we're all gathered around the campfire now, having a good time telling stories. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, oh, like I'm, I'm campfire. like honest to God, it's so funny because we were all trying to figure out how we were going to do this because it, it started quite literally with me via JP <laughs> and JP is like, okay, I can do this on Twitch. And uh, so we're like, okay, no problem. Well, next thing we know we are joined by Sarah and it's like, you know, the reason that we went into this specific channel in this specific server is we're like this way, we don't have to worry about a bunch of people, you know, in a row. Uh, yeah, well, that's still uh, happens. I mean, you should have you should have done what me and Noah did when we taught Zara how to code. You went to a friend's private. Yeah. No private oh. server. Private I I, I underestimate how social you guys are. I think I haven't fucking seen you guys in weeks. I'm just trying to say hi to my friends. <laughs> I miss and you. And to that, I me, say hello, Ryan. Let me let me rephrase. Say Ryan. I, I, it's not a problem that you guys are here. I am finding it amusing because we, we even, like, stated at the beginning, it's like, okay, well, we're going to go to the D-Die server because, I mean, come on, really, who's going to go there? You got 20 people in here. I know, okay, but I'm I not used to being popular. I'm not used to being popular. It's well, weird. these are all people you know personally. It's not like a public yeah. server where just 20 randos happen to join. These are all people you know. <laughs> Right. That, that, that's what she thinks. Like every single one of you contributed to this. And thank it's you. Really eh, we're gonna do the old thing. The thing I find really funny is that in, in Zara's server, like literally two people, Chef, Doggo, and somebody new, they were li literally having a whole ass conversation in the spoiler talk section. <laughs> they were like, they... Apparently they, you know, they acted like they were in DMs or something, and they had a whole ass conversation. Yeah. Yeah, I was in that conversation too. <laughs> it was like they were at the bottom of that though. dude chilling in the voice chat. Chill. Oh my oh, lord! Yeah. What no, happened that's there? Actually, that's actually a glitch. That happens all what? the time. Where like, if you go into the voice server once and then leave, especially when like the server gets a huge influx of people, then Discord will still read that person in the voice chat for like hours or Holy days. Holy shit! Hmm. Oh, wow. It happened. It happened to my friend as well. It happened when I first made the Bondry Share server. Oh, okay. wow. You know, it's kind of crazy because actually I haven't seen the Wild Heaven guy at all now. Yeah, now that you mention it, he is gone, mm -hmm. MIA. I mean, I, I was just, I'd completely forgotten about it. <laughs> no, I love how fucking we made all these jokes about how like, he's like a super fan of Zara or something and now. <laughs> And I'll or, or, uh, creating the, the voice channel just for him. Call <laughs> <laughs> it this and guy. No, no, no. And then, <laughs> and then Noah made that meme where he was like, gonna, gonna prank Zara when he gets in VC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> that is funny. I love Noah. I'll say it. Hell yeah. Eh. Hey, I miss. Find it, I find I it really crazy how, how, like, the first time, like, the first time you ever heard of Noah, you were like kind of, you didn't really like like him because you thought like Fallen Angel was like not that good or yeah, something. And then I'd after that, not talk you're just like, you're best buddies with him now. I mean, oh. when I when I joined, you really just server. like apologized him in DM. It's just the nicest thing to do. I did, dude. Is because I felt legitimately bad because of how I was acting towards him, and I got I had to set things straight. I mean, I wouldn't kiss the guy on the lips, but I like him, so. <laughs> I mean, I, I, mean, I wouldn't fuck him in the ass, but. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I, oh, I, I, what, are, what are you trying to imply here? I mean, I'm not gay, but... <laughs> I ain't gay, but I might kiss a man anyway. <laughs> hey, Gorto, remember the last time you said something like that? Moving yeah. on! <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, but no, 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 when I joined my server, within 48 hours of me joining the server, was J JP when you had that massive conflict with Noah? That conflict. was when I joined. Cool. And cool. I'm I'm having to ask uh, Jao. I'm like, I, I felt like MC going home on the end of day one. Like the fight between Christ. them. Does that happen often? 
Yeah. yeah you know, it was just a big drama thing which yeah. happened with fucking Team AI and how they and never get shit done. Yeah. It was about the DBS. I thought DBS was trying to get everyone in the server and Noah came kinda like two hours later. I was like, oh, it's probably just you know, sent by DBS as well. Yeah, no, you see, the whole thing is, me, no, and DBS instigated that. The whole thing was, DBS was coming to us for days beforehand saying how miserable he was in Team AI and how terrible of a person t was to him. So we were just like, dude, this is affecting your life. You need yeah. to leave Team AI. This is fucking not healthy for you. Right. So like, he wanted to make it a huge, big thing. And I was like, yeah. you know, okay, clearly, there's a lot of stuff about Team AI that the community should know. And he did that thing, and Noah, right. since he was a mod of the server, pretty much just made it so that people at least would see it. Because mm. um, I was on Team AI, and I can confirm, it's fucking god-awful being on there. Both me and Mattercrafter were put on for the same job, and we both quit within a few weeks of being there. The server it itself so is chaos. Shit. It's pure chaos. I know, and literally, not even the server, the team as well is just so shit. t doesn't do anything, he just bosses people around. Like, literally, I was... I was hired on to code day four, and I did. I coded all of day four, and I left probably, like, it would have been, like, all August, just after August of last year. They come out now, and they're saying that they've just started on day five. So in that fucking, like, eight-month period, they didn't do anything. I know. I was in shock when I saw that. I'm like, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. I accepted that this was dead and over because so much time has passed. It is. Like, I didn't mean to start drama. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> You didn't start shit. Oh, I mean... Okay. To be fair, DBS is still, like, going on about T-Lom and KJK, and we're like, dude, just fucking give it a rest. It's over. Yeah, it's like, yeah. you're out of there, he you're is, free. He's taking it to a bit too far now, but, like, back then, I feel like his actions were justified. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, at, at, I, I'll say this, though. I mean, t is genuinely a fun guy to be around. He's agree. a nice guy when you don't work for no, him. No, I've had, yeah, and see, that's it. I can definitely say my interactions with Tlom have been nothing but positive. However, I could see if I were actually answering to him as a subordinate. Yes. I can see the tendency there because it's it just, you know, that it's, type it's, of personality. He's a perfectly, is really nice, he's a perfectly nice and wonderful guy yes. outside of work, but the second you start doing something for him, he is just so horrible to work under. It's this funny. is why I, don't, I don't, don't tell him I said this, but Poe Ball's pretty similar. <laughs> it's it's funny because I had this conversation with t and he told me how, like, he literally sh showed me an entire gigantic schedule of Team AI of how they were going to get stuff done. And he told me, like, uh, this was this happened, like, he told me, like, this a week ago. And he told me stuff like, uh... uh you know, now that, you know, we're getting close to finishing KGK, he's like, we we're going to have to take things seriously. We're not going to, like, play around anymore. And, you know, we're going to, you know... But then he sees a problem and, and next he fixes it. Yeah, he... he like, I saw no, you he... check whether or not we were still muted, JP. <laughs> uh, it's me. I mean, maybe <laughs> shut <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, um... Tilam told me that he had, he acknowledged how he was to other people and that he regret, he regretted being like that. He he didn't like how like how he was and so he decided Naruto, to change his Bestie, job. let me interrupt you. Um what you were just looking at there, the cooking the cooking book. Yeah. Uh -huh. How do you do that? how how did Okay, let me try to give you the basis for my question. We have a sequence that is going to involve a book that okay. um it's it's going to be like half CG, and then if we can somehow code it, um, the rest is going to be... Okay, so y'all remember when, during Monica's point of uh, view and changing perspectives, when she has that dream with the ones and zeros? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our intention is to put that in a book. Okay. Right. I still not at this so, point. Um, but it just, it reminded me of that... Um, like, I've got two different trains of thought going at the same time right now, and it's because my medication is wearing off, so I'm thinking of, like, a hundred things at once, and it's like, okay, yeah, that's cool, right how do you do right. that? I mean, but, ugh, I hate that. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. You were saying? 
Um, but but yes, yeah, so primary focus, okay, most important train of thought. Let's stay on that one. Um, but yes, yeah, so so what I want to do is, um, just for those of you that are here, I think most of you have access to the outline. I don't know if all of you, but fuck it. I do. Um, yeah, I know you do. Um, but basically, Yuri comes home from the bookstore with two copies of Portrait of Markov. She opens a copy because she doesn't quite remember the plot. She wants to kind of, you know, refresh her memory before going to school the following day and discussing it with MC. So she opens the book and it shifts to, she's looking down at the book and it's, and it's nothing but binary. And I was just wondering what y'all's input would be because I, I realized that that is going to be probably one of our most complex coding sequences because it involves, it involves the code which is what uh, Kara used to create that sequence in Changing Perspectives, but it combines mm -hmm. that almost with, like, a CG. So I'm just kind of curious. Okay. Yeah. See what well, I'm saying? We'll, yeah, yeah. You'll cross that bridge when you get there, you know? So, yeah. It just it um, reminded me of that, and I'm like, oh, this is a big deal, I need to ask that. But also, how did you do the interactivity of that? Is it just another choice screen? Just like the standard Just a choice screen. Okay. Cool. It's basically this here. Because we will have, we have, uh, there's a lot I think of there's something in things. definition yeah. about that somewhere. Anyway, um, I, I was saying something about, uh, T1. Oh, yeah, I remember. I'm, so, I'm sorry, bro, like, it's okay. It's again, okay. my medication I mean, maybe we should, you know, stop talking about T1 on a live stream? Maybe you should yeah. stop being live, then. <laughs> yeah, please stop. Oh, the point was that year. My, my, honestly, my attention span is so shot right now, JP. That's, Wait a minute. that's what I was saying. Yeah. Wait a minute. It's you, okay to you, stop you, for now. Thank you. <laughs> JP, can't you just, like, stream your screen on here in Discord? Just yeah, why, because why? I wanted to stream for Nick as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Nick I'll, I'll could let... join the voice chat. Uh, he's yeah. not. He's not here. He's, yeah, he's not in And he said that Discord likes for him. Dang. Damn. Twitch would like like whatever. Uh, it's, I don't know. I can anyway, Twitch doesn't like work the same at Discord. Too, but I wanted to I wanted to capitalize on this opportunity while I still have the attention span for it. Well, since everyone is not doing this, so I'm gonna yeah. go and play the worst mod I ever played in my life. You cutting out? Yeah, cutting out pretty bad. We're gonna play a mod. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, Why am I going there? I don't know. I'm going there. Please don't play. Please don't play love secrets. Please don't play love secrets. <laughs> no, I'm playing please, please, please play the worst mod ever. Well, one of my emon Dutchy Dutchy fanfic Oh no. What is that? Yes, one? I'm playing that. What is that one? Okay, well let's start playing mods then. Die right, <laughs> man. Just left. <laughs> That's a very Ryan thing to do. Don't worry about it. It is, and it is, and and, and I I completely understand it. Like I I cannot stress enough how appreciative I am to you guys. Like I'm not even fucking kidding. Like thank y'all so much for being so supportive and amazing and just. Of course, of course. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Y'all are just all good people. Um, when it, the only thing I would probably be able to help it is like intermediate levels of code because like like. Like, if you need, like, Monica to show up on screen, but have her be half-translucent and have her show up at a certain time, then I know how to do that. Okay. So... Yeah, Incredible. Man, Dara, you code better than me. I can say that. Sarah, like... you should have access to the mod outline if you don't. I, I do. Okay, good. <laughs> so, I've, I've been trying to, because right now, all I have is scribbled into a notebook. So oh, I've no. slowly trying to transpose that. It's a into stupid the, into the mod outline, but it's it's tedious. So, um, but yeah, we're I, I'm at the end of the second choice option, I believe. Oh, by the way, we're at this point when we stop the choice sequence. Yes. All right. Well, since you're streaming, JP, I'm just gonna go ahead and type this out on no mic chat then, so you can read it again if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is it worth? <laughs> Is it worth it, to be honest? Did you ever saw that mod? No. 
You're gonna see what it is, and you're not going to like it. Oh lord, I hear Via out in the living room doing stern voice. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be here before I have to go ringlead. <laughs> you do what you have to do. My 10 year old is, he's, he's kind of reaching that point to where he knows which one of us he's smarter than. Huh. And, he's, and he's starting to exploit that. So oh, he, kn he knows he can't get away with shit with Via, and he knows he can only get away with just a teensy bit more with me, but my mother he can walk on. So there's already been one instance earlier today where Via was like, hey, you can't do this. And the minute Via was in here with me, he was asking my mom, could he do this? And she said, yeah. So it's, it, it's trying to handle those sorts of situations and... I'm just grateful that both my kids adore Via, so they're willing to listen to literally whatever the fuck she says. That's that's yeah yeah. Because she is she she has definitely stepped in and oh. assumed discipline. Which that is reminds great. me, I never yeah. sent I never sent Gorto the picture of the girl I'm talking to now. Ooh, yeah, it's a big deal. Whoa, oh, sure. I'm uh, check your DMs. Yeah, yeah. This thing is fine. Ooh, okay, my boy. She's so cute. I love it. I was waiting for. I want to shrink her down and put her in my pocket and carry her around. She's adorable. Do you? Are you actually gonna go for her, bro? I'm, dude. I'm going to. You know what? You know what was the biggest green flag that she has thrown? She works for a school for special needs kids. Aww. Oh. That's exactly what I need for my story. Really? Dude, my MC, remember? So. Is there? A, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't read the the, his, the, the his, script in a, in his a long MP, time. His so MP is not I'm sorry, but um. Okay. But yeah, but that dude, that's that's, so sweet. Cool. that's super sweet, dude. And she's too cute. She really is. I love it. it and Aww. she's she's legal. She's 19, so... I mean, that would have been my next Maybe. question. <laughs> um, yeah. how, how, long have you, uh, how long have you known her? Two days. Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've worked faster. Hey, and now it's working. What the hell? Alright, working. Let's go. No harm, no problem. There's absolutely nothing, don't search. I can't wait to see how stupidly stupid this mod is. Right. Uh, oh fuck not! Ah, uh, damn. How <laughs> about we just leave all the mods in my... What the fuck? I remember this. What the fuck is that? I don't... Oh <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my. Oh all the mods in my oh, E place. God's name is... JP, I saw the video I sent. Uh, uh, the month, a month, not the voice. I, I see you, my boy. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. All right, I still have that. <laughs> I still have the. Why do I have eleven notification? No, it's sad because I lost all the videos in there. So. Oh, oh my god! My files. Jeez, just open this. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. What the heck, man? <laughs> <laughs> so all the mods here, we're gonna play that at some point. Okay, except those three. I'm not playing those three. Wait, where is where is alone together? Did you throw it? No, I didn't play that one. Why, okay. Why is there a mod that you recommended to me sitting in your e tear, my dude? Uh, which one? The, uh, the Mario. No, the this is a Mario. The, the other is the Mario Simulator, oh. called Doki Simulator. Oh. It's two different things. Why the I fuck you put Don't in B tier? I, oh. But I what in B tier? Yeah. Yeah, this is going there and never moving from there. Is that Lifeline I see or no? Yes, Lifeline oh. is here. Lifeline. <laughs> It was so bad. Honestly. I played the first version. I don't even remember that one. Jesus Christ. 
I was in it, their server and literally they had an announcement saying the mod is cancelled and it's like, oh my god. Uh, I hope it's cancelled, the guy that was making it. Do you guys remember the guy, Dominic? Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not even talking about him, Jesus. Awesome. <sighs> I'll, I'll, I'll explain in DMs later. About yeah, better not later. talk about this here. Yeah, that's a DMs only kind of thing. I never liked him, to be honest, so I'm not even sad. I never cared for him, yeah. I mean, he was okay, but uh, it was like, eh. Also, oh, the so thing, nice. uh, He was this, this, and goes about everything. And then his uh, thing, in, uh, when he posted in feelings, a big oosh that's about his story. Uh, I think that's the only time in my life I actually care a bit about him. And then something happened and I'm like, not really surprised at the same time, but I'm like, I never trust this guy. Anyway. Oh Lord, it's 2 in the morning already. Yeah, New it's game. Like... It's not like it's going to be long, so... Okay. Fanfic love. Um... <laughs> He's about to. Um, uh, okay, so it's time, guys. I need to take off because um, I know my lady wanted to do some streaming of her own. Alright. Oh, no. so, but all again, right. thank y'all so much for this. I, I learned a fuck ton. So, thank Good. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Sad. Thank you. The mud is like fire. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Good night, guys. Bye. Good night. Yeah, I mean, T Love is. It's not as bad as we make it out to be, but. I feel like it's a lot of DBS fault as well. Yeah. If he didn't like the place, he could have quit a long okay, time ago. The thing is, is that um, I actually made a truce, a truce with DBS. I. I told him that I wasn't. I unblocked him and told him that, like, I'm not gonna, like, be petty and, like, you know, be like that anymore because. Not gonna lie, not hearing this side of the story was kind of childish on my part. So, yeah, I decided to make a temporary, uh, I just, well, a permanent truce. Good on you, DB. man. Eh, I still muted him. We're both mods on Lucy's server, so. And, and if we're gonna be mods, that means we have to get along, so. Yeah. You know. I, I'm not a hateful person, I'm not someone who holds grudges. I just wanted all of us to get along, you know? Despite what happened, you know. That's all. We, that's all. That's, that's all we should do, you know. Mm. We're here to make mods and have fun while doing it. Wait, is it showing the stream? Is everything all right? Yeah, should be showing. Perfect. Okay, so this mod, so that means I only go to that they didn't saw it. I have never seen this mod. Oh, you never saw it too? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Right, I could actually done. voice at this mod. Please don't. <laughs> I don't uh, so basically this is the narrator. I don't know why, this is the narrator saying everything. He's dead, he's back and he makes him dinner style for the punishment. <laughs> oh no. Where the fuck is the dinner? There's a dog here. Why is there a dog here? Natsuki's dead. <laughs> Hi, Natsuki's dead. My name's Natsuki's dead. Start slapping your ass over non stop. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Certainly, Sayuki, not the door open. Sayuki, open the door. Why are we MC's room? Let's oh, <laughs> world on and choke her with a rope. What? Yeah, oh, Sayuri's dead. <laughs> it's not Sayuri's dead. Man. Oh, took Sayuri with a rope. Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to punch me. Rips a skirt. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? 
<laughs> what is this? That's the most thing I've ever heard in that The whole time. So I did you already show up? Oh no. Did that do that kicks in the pit? Oh, I'm going to kill this man. And cuts all of Yuri's limbs off and eats them in front of Okay, I hate this mod. Yuri, no! I hate this, bro. Oh, it's too right, bitch. Yuri, no! I want you back, Yuri! Oh, no. I don't know all that fast. I'm seriously okay. This is on the Reddit. It's downloadable from everyone, and that passed everything. Okay, there's absolutely no one that says this spot is bad. I'm gonna show after all the response that the creator got. Oh god. And she screams out of pain, she feels like her inside on fire. Uh, no uh, shit. Her inside is in fire. Oh, Suddenly god. I show up. JP shows up. <laughs> well, let's start throwing rapid fire punch. <laughs> oh my god, man. What the fuck? <laughs> There's absolutely no expression change. The only one, and that's it. Why do fucking Wallace be interested in this shit? Look behind you, Nazi Karma Kapi. Burn the ops. That's <laughs> what? Soccer ass, but JP steps in his stats and that's Nazi's down the back. Literally. <laughs> Natsuki's dead, laying dead in the ground, she collapses to the floor, floor balling. I like how the sprite doesn't even change her <laughs> She's like quite really upset that she lost two good very friends. Two very good <laughs> Damn. This mod sucked. <laughs> you can put your arms around Natsuki's shoulder to comfort her. Just to be sure, does that- Does anyone see Monica somewhere? <laughs> I'll be alright. You're fine. I love you. They say that they're for half an hour for the cops or whatever. We'll go. Wee you, wee you. Okay. The police with the body and JP explain what happened. <laughs> so, Natsuki took a fucking kitty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I live with you? Of course. Alright, exit music syndrome. Let's get it. We'll <laughs> live with each other for a while, just for a whole day. <laughs> First morning there. <laughs> End of chapter one, thanks for playing. End of chapter one. It's literally the whole mod. This is the whole mod. They could have just ended it with NC Walk's home, it would have been better. This is the whole mod, that's why it's E, okay? That was horrible. But there's a reason why I put sandwich after it at the first time. Because sandwich passed six hours my time for the same fucking shit that Fanfit Club did. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's worth putting sandwich just after for losing so much of my fucking time. Well, I'm officially gonna gouge my eyeballs out after that, so thank you. I'm going to starve myself to death. Death by hanging myself with a licorice noose. Now let's just see what the DDLC mods think of that. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh god, huh? The DDLC mods. Fanfit Love by Atom Bomb Baby. Atom Bomb Baby? <laughs> Atom Bomb yeah, is Baby. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's see the comments. Okay. <laughs> it was compelling, sorry. I saw very emotional scene. I think it's a joke. It's probably a joke. I cannot believe this is real. See comment below you.
This is the hint that she'll use it for once. Oh my god, Tor moves. That's fucking embarrassing. Why the fuck did Tor moves? What the fuck? Like, what the yeah. fuck is that? Yeah, I do the LC Mother by Pat. Touch me since oh, I installed it. Like it doesn't work. Doesn't work. <laughs> it literally doesn't work. And uh, this guy too. Anyway. <laughs> so what was the story that you wrote about? The review. The review yeah. one out of five. <laughs> yep. I mean, we do a review for this shit. It's just bad. So this is good at writing. Sense reversion. How long is this game? <laughs> Fifteen minutes to make after I figure out to use RMP. <laughs> I swear to God, this must be like some guy who's like, I'm gonna make the best story ever. And he's no, like, no, he said it. Guy. It's a joke that he made. Oh, M wrote to me. Wait, is he watching? Oh no, he's watching us. My guy too. Ah, he's watching us. <laughs> he's watching us. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I didn't saw it. Hey M. Anyway. <laughs> Negative 5 out of 5, yeah, that's good. Oh my god, because Em actually responded to that comment, so it's like, it's great. How about negative out of negative? You know, that's my score. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't work. Well, now you have your response, Sam. It just doesn't work. It's bullshit. I had to literally, I deleted the script RPA, I restarted, it didn't work. I re-put the script RPA, and then it worked. So ask me what the fuck is this? This is a bad mod, I swear to god. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go now, so... Oh. Next time we're playing... Dutchy Simulator. Oh god. Anyway, see ya later. See you. Hey, <laughs> what the fuck is this? I don't know. By the way, I still have Spark of Oak installed for way too long. <laughs> and I have way too many mods. Wait. Ah, oh, Zero is still here. I was wondering. I am. For a little bit. Mm hmm. Uh, what do we talk about? Well, we are on stream, so. Well, I can't believe I had to use this in, um, I don't tell Ryan, but I actually did, sort of did some coding on the full release of my mod today, and, oh. uh, seen kitchen with, I actually decided to go ahead and use that little line of code in my mod today. Just for a funsy effect, but I'll probably end up taking it out or using something different. I should probably not play. <laughs> no, that's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but I mean, it shows the rest of the conversation. Yeah. So what? We talk about stuff. But it's whatever. Oh, there's someone that just... Oh, sure. just messed you. Okay, fair enough. Okay, can I write his name? Amazing. Oh yeah, it works. This thing works. I just coded that recently. <laughs> just made it work. But yeah, it's... What did you add? Sink kitchen with slider light. Alright. By the way, you saw what I did earlier, the... With the you hide? <laughs> yeah, I did. It's funny, I coded that myself for Spooky. Because I made the intro thing. Do I still have the intro thing? Where's the script? Script! It's confusing because every time I search a screen at the end with the script, but it's everything at the top. But 
potato. Okay, so basically this is the intro for Spooky. Trying to delete uh, and I'm gonna put it here. So I can start the mod and it's going to actually work. Exclusivity for every brand. Oh yeah, that was that is supposed to be in my actual uh, I think there's another part name because we barely did anything. <laughs> So yeah, the spooky intro, which is, uh, I'm way too much proud of this. This one I cut, it so bad, I need to recut that. And just like in the game, she goes to the ceiling. I love this scene. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, if you ever play the game, you would get it. But I don't know if you played it or saw it. And I still have all the assets that I need to do. Uh, no, this is the asset. Those are the sprites. That I took from a website basically that give all the sprites and all I did is take every sprite put it in GIMP and basically cut them correctly and it's fairly long <laughs> I mean look at the spooky sprite they are so long to do I need to cut exactly at the right place and then do it for every spooky and basically this is all our animation for up and down and then I code in the code for doing uh, up and down every time and the problem is too that if you got it there and stop it here and you restart with that one it's not going to look natural so I have to actually go from one to well, the first to the last one and then go from the last one to the first one so I do a literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I go back to eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then I restart the sequence, and it's basically how she shows up, and it's the same for every character, this one, this one, and I have to do that for everyone. Except a few horse, this one, which is basically just a scare. And what I'm gonna do with the scares, which is gonna be cool if I end up, you know, putting it on the Reddit. I don't know if they're going to accept that, but I don't care. Basically, if I end up putting the mods on the Reddit or the sprites, which what is cool is that I can actually set up something for a random. Which is going to choose a sir a random scare with a random sound, just like in the game. By the way, all to do list. That's my whole list of what to do. <laughs> all this the special, you know, um, rooms. All the what do we call that again? Corridors and the save points. I need to actually take the save points correctly. I need to arrange all the music for the characters, the fake outside, the boss, the audio in general, the sprites for all the specimens, and all the poems also from the specimens. And it's very, very long. But at some point I'm going to come in again. That. Yeah, there's also the shadow. Yeah, it's the with the specimen tree. Where is the specimen tree? Oh, it's here. No, specimen tree is him. Specimen four is the girl. And then specimen five, this guy from Silent Hill. 
And specimen 12 is going to be a whole lot of shit to do. Oh yeah, the TV screen reflection actually shows in the video. It's basically uh, on top of uh, another CG. I can probably find the part. It's here. Basically where it just fades. Yeah, that's it. Basically, I took uh, the BG that you see here, and I made one that that looks like that, with a TV screen. Okay. So when I change the scene slowly, it do this, like someone is watching through the screen. I think I'm gonna need that for my mod. And then there's this part, which I always like. Yeah, this part. Yeah, just like salvation. I explained relapse, to you all. Of this. Yeah. Uh, relapse, yeah. And at the end, just we show it a little on the other side. Basically, Yuri is like the guide in this mod, if I remember. The point was to... Uh, basically, they enter the mansion because, well, they are like another part of a computer which possess spooky also jump scared, so that's the point. Uh, they enter the place and Monica is persuaded that this place is going to get them out of the game. So I, I, it's poorer. It's poorer here. It's poorer for the whole thing. But yeah, basically, Monica wants to get out there. Uh, Spooky is basically trying to get Monica in there to actually capture her and turn her into a specimen, just like all the specimens in there. The role for Sayori is going to be that she dies pretty early not long after that Monica get captured uh. and she's gonna turn into a ghost later and we join the band basically like that Natsuki is basically the hero in the whole thing nice okay that's why she's like the main character and there's Yuri which I forgot why I gave her as a role what did I give you, Rizamo? Mm, I think she's just like the protector, the one that is going to guide and help, I suppose. I think that was a point with her. You know, because she's very knowledgeable of our stuff, so she's gonna recognize some of the stuff. So yeah, that's kind of the point in all this. And yeah, so that's the whole thing. It's basically going through the whole game, which is basically 100, uh, 100, 1,000 rooms. So I just took a bunch of screenshots from rooms in the game. Uh, I think it's here. Yeah, there it is. I took a bunch of screenshots in the whole the actual game so room 0, room 1, 2, 3, 4 and I took randomly I really don't care about which I'm not I'm not sure which I'm gonna use except of course the save ones which are going to be important this is a split this is a right pride this is a rational night and this is basically why I used to show the the lightning so basically all I do is show this one and then show that one for a split second and show that one it's really cool by the way you can notice that I took because the problem is in the remaster they, they, they changed this 
So I had to actually go in the original game to get this, but the only thing is that the bar changed here. So it's gonna show, but I don't really care at this point. I cannot get rid of the bar, to be honest. I cannot get rid of that too. I wanted to get a system basically to take just the background without this and this, and then create a system to create actually a room counter. And I thought that would have been cool, but I cannot get rid of it, so I cannot create it. It's sad. So yeah, a little look into what I did. And there's actually a lot that I did. I even created custom pride for Spooky. I cut every specimens right and to show them in the actual game correctly. I cut a bunch of uh, SFX with the intro, the music at some point, the music for the specimens too. And even get some fonts for the characters that talks in the letters and a paper for the poems. So yeah, I did a lot and I still have a lot to do. <laughs> Definitely. I think there's a hand here. That's it. I should probably get going soon, it's kinda late. Yeah, I'm probably gonna stop the stream here. Okay. So, thanks for everyone that came in the stream, I suppose. Was an interesting stream. Oh yeah, and then that was redo. Cool. Yeah, was something, I guess. <laughs> I mean, the point was to teach Lee, but I guess we didn't do that. At all. Stuff was learned, so let's go. I guess we make her learn something. Well, yeah. yeah, I guess we're gonna pick up that at some point. By the way, I really need to change my the slideshow. This thing up here, I need to change that at some point. I want to add new people and get rid of the old ones. I don't watch Shatsman anymore, I don't watch TV anymore, I don't know these people at this point. So I want to abuse uh, change all that. And I like Yuzira, I want to add Fly, I want to add a uh, bunch of people. Oh wait, Fly is already done. Huh. Maybe I was still doing them. I don't recall. Anyway. I'm gonna stop now. Thanks for anyone that came by and good night, surely. I guess. <laughs>